Hey, just a quick update. It's the day after Easter 2020 and uh, the office tank is looking really good. I've straightened out some of the plants and within two days they've grown back in such that it looks like the forest that you're looking at right here. And the net result I just want to share with you if I can capture it. The black mollies are doing so well. As I've told you before, I am a fan of the black molly. And I've got a pair here that just have that beautiful lyre tail to them. And uh, that's the male that we're chasing around right now. But the female, I'm hoping she comes on out so you can see her. She looks just as gorgeous as he does, only she's as plump as you can possibly imagine. And so, where is she at this point? I see her over in the back right-hand corner, so maybe she should come on out. Meanwhile, you can see we're overflowing with guppies. And this is almost a species tank now. I've taken out some of the other uh, fish, the swordtails that were growing up. I had a couple female swordtails in here that were really big and hoped that they would drop their babies in this uh, overgrown office tank. And uh, they did some, but I finally just moved them back out to the bigger tank. They were getting very big. And you see that half uh, black molly going right by. There's a female going by. Got a pair there. And uh, I'm waiting for the female to come on out. I think I saw her. That, there she comes. There she comes. Where she comes out front. She is absolutely gorgeous. And of course the male half black is always chasing her too and two males really are competing for her attention. Oh come on out to the front for my visitors here will you? She's been out here all morning long and just finally moved me to try and capture and record her for you. Uh, some of her babies are now big enough that they're in the big uh, corner, uh, bow tank and they have the same characteristics a beautiful wire tail and uh, I'm hoping they grow up just to be as big as these are. And then this tank has got more and more of those babies. Not not into the hundreds or anything like that. But enough that you don't have to look long before you start seeing some of those babies. And I've been watching some YouTube videos about uh, raising guppies. And I'm not into raising guppies or any other fish for any special reason. Just not going to not breed them if they breed. And... Uh, as I looked at some of my fish, I'm very pleased that they look as good as they do. I mean, if they were, if I were raising them, I would have some strains here that I would be trying to preserve. So, let me just, uh, there she is again. She's back there. And I'm hoping she comes on out so you can get a good shot of just how big she is. And uh, <clears throat> I just hope that she would drop quite a few babies at one point in time. Here she comes. Now you see the two of them come on across the front there. Now she's going to the back. The plants have just blossomed again, stay, staying with that fertilization program of the CO2 every day and uh, some leaf zone uh, once a week. And uh, they're doing beautifully. And so there's plenty of protection for the babies here. And uh, that's why I call it my office tank. It's here in the office, but also meant to be for those live bearers and you can see maybe at least one of the babies up here that come in I don't know if I'm gonna lose my focus or not well I don't know if you're gonna see the one I'm trying to focus on or not I can't tell. Oh, there it is. Against that bright green. And so there's, I'd say, a dozen or more of those. So I'm very pleased with this particular tank. It's uh, doing very well. As you can see, the colorfulness of those male guppies especially. But also the females. I always loved the uh, female guppies with colorful tails. And the females in here are carrying that strain and doing very well and there's a liar tail guppy that I found one time and that's doing well but you can see the coloration on that female for example and there's like two different types there's one with the yellow tail and then there's one uh, that has a red tail or an orangish tail 
And then we have some blonde, not albino, but blonde guppies that you see floating around there. And so they seem to be multiplying also. Now I know it's easy to breed guppies, but I haven't been doing anything special except giving them plenty of hiding space. Uh, there's that female again. She's going after the algae on the, on the plants. But if I put a little bit of food in here, uh, oh, there's the red tail shark that I moved into here. Oops, where'd it go? It just went by. It's doing very well in here, by the way. You remember, this was a small red tail shark that didn't seem to be growing up uh, while the others had. And so I uh, decided to put him in here by himself and see how that would work out. I don't want to overfeed them, but at the same time, it should cause a feeding frenzy up here. And now you can see some of the baby black mollies. And I just put some more food in there and it's bringing out quite a few of those black molly babies. And so let's see if the female comes out to get a better shot of her. There she is right there. And get her out in front of the plants. There she comes. Ah, but she's ducking back in there again. She is beautiful. Years ago, I had a beautiful pair. There she is. Ah, nice. There she goes. Uh, we had a pair of black mollies that got to be huge. I mean big. And they had lots of babies, and they all grew up, and I had them in the other tanks and so forth. And lo and behold, uh, over time, they literally just disappeared. I never found one floating dead in the tank. But over time, I'm going to say over six months' time, you just all of a sudden realize, hey, wait a minute. We don't see any black mollies. And so these two are doing very well and I keep them here because of the hiding places for the babies and they seem to be doing well. It uh, has a lot of green in the tank that they like and uh, so their babies are slowly populating and those that I put out in the other tank have not gotten as big as I thought they would in that short a time. But anyway, give me a chance to see a little bit better what I'm so pleased with here. And she's Usually she's out front here, no problem at all, but today, when I want her, I'm not going to see it, huh? Oh, there she is, again. Come on, here we come. Anyway, what's your favorite fish? I would say of all the fish, between the red-tailed shark and the black mollies, they'd be my two all-time favorites. Here she comes one more time, one more appearance before she disappears behind the plants here. The plants uh, really, in the last couple of days, have really thickened up and I've had to trim them back and make bunches of them and so they're hiding that beautiful Amazon sword plant in the back but uh, giving plenty of hiding place uh, for hiding place for the babies which is a nice side benefit here. Anyway, that's uh, my guppy tank with a couple black mollies and uh, it's got six catfish in here. They, they do a nice job. I love uh, the quarries and they all seem to be doing well. There's about three different, four different types in here. And uh, when it comes to babies, especially guppy babies, there's more than I can count. So I uh, hope that your tanks are doing equally well and uh, you're having more time if you're isolated home in uh, taking care of them. There she is. Oh, look at that. Now she's out front where you can really see her. She's sitting still there. Very nice. Let's see if we could stay in front.